morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to another bright, sunshiny Winnipeg. Once again, I have not checked the weather to see what we're supposed to have today, at least the latest weather, uh, but I'm sure that I will have by now dubbed in whatever we're going to have, because that's, so, that's sort of my M.O. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we uh, might have had a nice sunrise this morning, but I'm not sure. I, every, once, every once in a while I'd take a look at it, and this would be about two hours ago, and it, it looked like it was going to be kind of colorful. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably have a time lapse at the end of today's episode. Today the plan is to get a little bit of painting done. Yes, uh, I still haven't arranged to have anybody help me assemble the bike box. I've got all the pieces now completely assembled. Uh, by, um, pardon me, all the pieces now completely cut and, you know, shaped. I just have to assemble everything. There's, there's basically only six or seven major pieces. Well, there's the floor, there's the roof. And there's the there's the four walls, one of which is actually made by made by the door, so so that'd be like uh, six major components, and they're all made, they're all cut, just a case of folding it up and fastening it in on the corners, shouldn't take long, and then painting it of course, and I think the kind of paint that I'm going to use is uh, I'll probably use a, a gray, uh, probably very very similar to the. Uh, 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 the paint that's on the outside of the house now because I want it to sort of blend in as somebody's driving down the street you know they don't have this really ugly thing catching their eye because it's not it's not going to be the prettiest box in the world <laughs> uh, but it's going to work anyway enough about the bike box uh, I think it's time to uh, recompose here and uh, uh, I don't have any uh, special news other than it looks like it's going to be nice. Maybe, as I said yesterday, is this the beginning of our spring? I sure hope so. Uh, okay. Um, let's get at it here and get some painting done. Okay. And I've said this before. I wish I had a dollar for every time I started a sentence with okay. Um, anyway. Or anyway. When I'm using the macro lens here, and I'm trying to hold my whatever it is just above a little little dot, I don't know what you'd call this. I think in, in uh, Hollywood they have like little marks on the floor and you try and stand on your mark. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what it's called. It doesn't matter. It's my positioning point. So I try to hold hold it above the positioning point at just the right height so that the macro lens will always be perfectly in focus because it is extremely sensitive to to distance so what I've done here is I've, I've set up sort of a jig you might say so that I, if if I was to lay this part in this little V that I've cut out of this piece of wood I, I should be able to keep the, the part at, at almost exactly the right distance away from the lens. At least that's the plan. And uh, I, I'm sure that things are going to go wrong, but we have a lot of little parts here. And um, uh, yeah, now we're, we're going to paint the little wheels first, weren't we? Whoops, careful Ron. Okay, uh, I think the medium sized wheel which was this one right here, is the only one that has to be painted green. Now, will that work? Yeah, it'll, it's, it'll sort of work. It'll give me an idea to the height. I'll just know that right here at the end of my finger is, is pinpoint focused and try and keep everything... Okay, enough about this already. Uh, let's uh, mix up our uh, green here and uh, we'll, we'll paint this wheel first. And. Uh, We'll put the macro lens on, of course. Okay, I think this is going to work. Now 
where's my little brush? There we go. Now this is this is the only piece we're going to be doing in green. Now so let me check the monitor. Does that look like it's in focus? I got to move it up just a little bit here. There we go. Oh my, there goes my bell. Missy's here. I gotta go. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I was not prepared. I forgot that Missy was going to come by this morning. And I didn't have my, my GoPros over there and I never thought to grab it. So those of you who want to see Missy, uh, we're going to have to, uh, I guess we'll have to uh, wait until she comes by and rings my bell around noon. <laughs> Hopefully I'll, I'll be ready. Okay. Um, what were we doing here? <laughs> okay, is this thing still in focus? Yeah, it looks good. All right. Now, the trick here is going to be to not paint it to the tweezer. We just want to give it the illusion of being green. It doesn't have to be painted on the underside of the wheel. And I don't want to fill up the spokes. Mm. Now I'll just sort of poke my brush in there just a little bit. I maybe could have grabbed this thing a little bit differently. Somebody was suggesting taking my, uh, one, of, one of Chris's files and, uh, making a little V in in the tweezer so that you can grab onto it. I, th I think I know what he was talking about. Maybe I'll do that. I'll just give that a, give that a try. Okay. Well, just let me check the monitor. And as I've said so many times before, you can see this a whole lot better than I can. No, we, we weren't going to worry about the bottom, were we? No. Okay, I, I think that's going to be about as good as we're going to get it here. And there's, I don't think as much as trying to give it a second coat either. Okay, well, let's uh, recompose here, so so to speak, and uh, I'm just going to press stop and get my my red ready because I got to do three wheels in red, and one of them is really tiny. We'll do the really tiny one first.
this is the last one. And I guess you probably noticed it on some of them, like even on this one. It was almost as though I should have washed the parts in vinegar or something. Got rid of any uh, whatever, because it almost appeared like we were having a, a problem with, uh, you know, grease on the... Okay, uh, yeah, all right, this is the last one. Now I can well imagine that some of you who are really good at painting with a brush were gasping in horror at the amount of paint that was going on there. And I'll admit that some of them, they were a little bit on the little heavy side, I guess. However, once this all dries, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised at how well this Tamiya XF paint has, uh, you might say, shrunk wrap itself around the detail. Uh, I, I can I can see it now already. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, there there like this piece right here. I did take extra care not to fill the very delicate grating or whatever that is. Uh, we'll we'll move in and have a nice close look, but not not today. It's getting on this morning already, and quite often on pizza day I get a coffee visitor early in the afternoon, so I'm gonna wrap it up but uh, first of all my microwave was running there about five minutes ago I wonder what was in it maybe we should check Uh, piece number six of eight. So we should have uh, five more? Or is there six more left in the freezer? I hope this isn't too hot. Oh, by the way, using bacon in there? Like this is, this is bacon, that little piece? That sure is good. All right, here we go. like pineapple and pizza. It's a, it's a nice combination. I don't know why. It's sort of like uh, raisins go good with meat. At least I think they do. Okay, here's what's been happening. I've been busy. All of a sudden things just all started happening at once. My son phones and he wants to come over and have coffee early with me today. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be probably around uh, two o'clock, maybe, maybe sooner. Anyway, uh, also uh, I was just out in the backyard uh, with the GoPro and I, I did get Missy the dog. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see that after today's episode. Right now, I'm trying to get the sunrise out of the surveillance system, and I'm going to put it into time lapse. It looks like it might be nice. That's going to be after today's episode. So I'm going to end today's episode right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. Okay, hey, for those of you who wanted to see Missy, I got good news for you. I was talking to my neighbor a few minutes ago and he was saying he's gonna bring her over. I can hear her. We'll go out to her because it's such a nice day.
It is such a beautiful day, isn't it, Missy? Oh my goodness. What do you smell? What do you smell? Hmm, what is that? You smell a bowl? Is that what it is? Okay, here, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's coming, it's coming. There it is. <laughs> a beautiful sunshiny day. Okay, for those of you who waited for Missy, well, you got to see her. 